Good morning. Welcome to this edition of Pottstown Borough Buzz. We're out here on this very cloudy April morning for our second annual Rock the Block event. I'm your host, Cheryl Miller. We're out here in the parking lot of what is best known as the former Empire Hook and Ladder Fire Company. And we are out here with a crew of many, many people from the community, um, from residents, community groups. And we are going to rock the block today and we're going to do all kinds of different projects. Come along with me and meet my crew. Okay, we have some of our very dedicated community members out here. Of course, we have a board member from Habitat for Humanity, John Ungerman, and we also have Dave Garner, who is with the Mosaic Community Land Trust. And uh, Dave is very active in the Pottstown community, and I'm gonna let him talk about some of his other projects. But today, we're out here for Rock the Block. So John, John, we'll, we'll talk to you first and tell me what, um, what your expectations of the day are. My expectation is that we're out here to have fun, do good work, and improve the Pottstown community here. Do you have um, an idea of, can you tell us some of the, the many projects that we'll be doing today? Uh, I'm with a group working on cleaning up the new cluster building uh, on North Franklin Street. I know there's people working on the new Habitat House on Walnut Street. Uh, there's people working on some gardens. Uh, there's a porch I saw repair on one of the the projects and I didn't study the rest of the list. <laughs> well my project is hanging floodlights so so, okay. so we're good and Dave the, the gardens that John is speaking of are the mosaic the mosaic community land trust gardens. That's correct we have three gardens um, two on Chestnut Street one on Walnut Street and we're going to be getting them ready for the growing season that's coming up. And you have another one starting soon in another area? Well, we actually, last year we built one out at Barth Elementary School. So we'll be getting that one up and running, but that's not part of today's project. And tell us just a little bit about what the community gardens are. The community gardens are an opportunity for people, um, anybody in Pottstown or even outside of Pottstown is invited to, uh, to uh, purchase a plot and then come and, and grow your vegetables uh, with us in the neighborhood. That's a fantastic project, and they are open. They're open now, and then they go all the way through the fall. They go all the way through the fall. Yep, we're going to be having um, a kickoff weekend next weekend, and then uh, probably planning in early May. And if somebody wanted to purchase a plot or get involved in volunteer, who would they contact? Um, they could contact me or our garden manager, who's Daniel Price. But if you if you look for Mosaic Community Land Trust on the uh, on the internet, you'll find our website, and there's all the information there. And we're getting ready to start our second annual Rock the Block with Habitat for Humanity. And I have with me here today, I have my work crew, and I also have Mary Ann Lynch. She is the executive director for Habitat for Humanity of Montgomery County. And uh, she's here leading this crew, so we're going to ask her a couple questions about how we got started and what we're doing here in Pottstown. Awesome. Marianne, could you talk to us a little bit more in detail about what Rock the Block is? So Rock the Block is a community cleanup day, but it's more than that. It, we do repairs, we do some preservation of the houses around the, the community, painting. Hopefully we'll get to do some painting with this weather. But uh, uh, we really try to work with the community holistically, not only to do repairs and, and preserve this beautiful town, but also to bring the community together to have lunch and really celebrate what is Pottstown and how great it is. So we're very excited to have you in Pottstown, but you know, you actually originated in Narstown and, and we have with us today and we will be interviewing a Narstown Vice President, Derek Perry, who kind of, you know, helped integrate Habitat for Humanity to Pottstown. Right. So we've been working in both Norristown and Pottstown for um, Pottstown for more than 10 years, actually more than 15 years, um, in Norristown since our very beginning 27 years ago. So um, these two communities are incredibly important to us, not only because of their proximity in the county, but also because of the the fantastic people who live in these communities. They're really um, passionate about living here, um, about being part of the community, and we want to support some of the aging housing stock and some of the challenges that the community is facing and really turn those around and make this make everybody else aware of what a great community this is to live in. But Rock the Block, Rock the Block, this program is actually new to Pottstown. Well, our second right. second annual now. Right. So we've, we've done quite a few in Norristown. We're actually, I think, on our fifth one this year um, but in Nor in Pottstown this is a newer concept but it's a great one day event um, lots of volunteers come out from volunteer groups but also from the community as well um, because we believe that many hands make light work and so you know after you see the results of that day it's a lot easier to keep things up in in the community after that wonderful thank you very much Marianne we're we're very grateful to have you in our community 
All right, so now I want to talk to some of my work crew. We have my um, my crew that's always with me here, Charlie Pierce with the Phillies Fire Company. Um, Charlie participates in all my community endeavors. Um, Charlie, ta oh, I know that you're excited to be out here today, and, and tell us why you're so dedicated to the Pottstown community. I think it's important to have our company represent the community to help improve it, to let the uh, people know that we're involved to help them. Uh, the fire company uh, is a big part of helping people in every way, not just when their house is on fire. Every source and the resources we have to help people and children and let them know that we're their friends and they can count on us for leadership and um, we are committed to the community to help them in every way we can. And this is your this is your second year also participating in Rock the Block. Correct. And this year we have Bob Orr from the Phillies Fire Company. He's the assistant fire chief. And Bob, what brought you out today specifically? Uh, Charlie pretty much summed it up on why we're here. He asked me to participate and I said, no problem. <laughs> Problem. <laughs> okay, and not also new, we also have Vice President Derek Perry from Norris Town Council, and he also joined my team last year, so this is the second year he's joining us. And Derek, you know what? I think it's wonderful that you come all the way down to Nar from Norris Town to help the Pottstown crew. So what's your dedication to be down here helping us in Pottstown? Well, one of the things that I know about uh, Pottstown and Norris Town are that we're pretty much the similar community. So, uh, you know, Habitat has done a great job, and, and revitalizing you know home ownership in our town and just doing some positive things here so you know joining forces with you and and some of the other Paz town uh, council people is just to care about our communities like we should and and you know we, we we're here for a reason and that's to give back to our communities. Wonderful, and I'm happy to have my crew here with me today. And I'm also excited that this is the first year that I get to be the supervisor of the crew. <laughs> One of our other very dedicated community members with us today is John Armado, and he is the Director of Community Relations for the Pottstown School District. And John, I know that we're out here at the parking lot for Rock the Block, but this is a very comprehensive program. And there are so many other organizations that are involved in this. And I'm gonna have you expand a little bit more or on, on what this all entails. Sure, Cheryl, this is another example of what a great community Pottstown is. Today, this part of Rock the Block is really also part of a bigger event of Pottstown Cares, which involves partnership with Pottstown School District, the Hill School, Montgomery County Community College, the Borough of Pottstown, all working together. And, and on top of that today, we have about 60 of our Pottstown High School students who are involved in the Make a Difference Day project that are out doing landscaping at Memorial Park, at the high school. Uh, so there, there's so many pieces to this puzzle. And, and to add to that yet today, at Riverfront Park, the YWCA is sponsoring a race against racism. And at Memorial Park, we have the Bark for Life group. So in 5.2 square miles, there is so much going on that it can only make a person say one thing, proud to be from Pottstown. Thank you so much, John, and we are also proud to have you as a member of our community. Thank you. We have another wonderful group with us out here today at Rock the Block, and this is a brand new group coming to Pottstown, Pottstown Flames Organization, which is a professional basketball team. And uh, here's our organizer. We're going to introduce our organizer, Steve Bergman, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what's going on here. Yes, uh, we're a new semi, uh, a new professional basketball team coming to the area of Pottstown to help the local, local community uh, get no national contracts overseas, uh, gentlemen that weren't able to make it to college, uh, be recognized for the things they do that might not have had the funds to get to college. So we're, we're, we're based on to help the community with being known to get overseas contracts. And Steve, what brought you to Pottstown? To help this community out. I noticed there's a lot of help that needs to be done here in the youth as into the adults. But something must have drew you to our wonderful community. So you saw how we're, um, you know, coming, we're revitalizing, we're, we're coming anew. So what brought you here specifically? To help you guys out, change the community. All right. Uh, Marquis, what is your role in this? Um, I, I play basketball and I'm here to change the community because I see the change that needs to be done uh, from the youth standpoint because I love the youth so I'm going to try to help out with the youth as much as I can. And where are these games going to be? At the Hill School. Our home games are going to be at the Hill School. Uh, that's where we'll be playing our, all our home games so I, I look forward to coming and seeing you guys play. 
Wonderful. Cody? Yeah, um, I'm just here to help the community out with Steve and um, the whole team here and stuff like that. But Cody, you're, you're, uh, you're a partner in yeah, the... Yeah, with Steve and um, okay. the whole team and everything. And so tell me how you heard about Pottstown, because I'm kind of not getting that, that answer. Oh, always uh, with Steve, you know what I mean? Stuff and um, we, you know we came here to we, just help. It, it, we're based off of one city, one team. So you have to go to the next local community, which I decided to come to Pottstown, PA. Gotcha. All right, Maurice, <laughs> come on, talk to us. Um, I'm a Pottstown. Uh, I live in Pottstown. I've been here for six years, and I heard about Pottstown Flames, and I want to be a part of that organization. And I believe children are the future. And what's your part in the organization? I play. I'm a basketball player. Wonderful. And do you have any special position that you play? I play point guard and shooting guard. All right, great. And this gentleman is not wearing Wayne. his name. There Wayne, there's his name tag. Yes, and I'm a new member. Okay. So I just started today. So I'm not really familiar with the basketball area of it, but I do love the part that they're working with the children. And we're doing like a lot of children's stuff. We're doing cleanups. We're doing habitats. It's, it's very great to be a part of it. And it helps to lighten the city, and it, it brightens the city, and it gives us an initiative to clean, to work, to fix things. This is a great opportunity, and we're very happy to be a part of it. Well, welcome, guys, and we're very part. We are very happy that you are a part of our community, and we're looking forward to all the stuff that you're going to bring for us. Thank you very much. We're here with Matt Green of Glocker Real Estate and Emmanuel Wilkerson from the Pottstown School District. And these two gentlemen are um, very active residents in the borough of Pottstown. And we work together as a team on many different projects um, as, the, as the borough, as the school district, as community organizations for revitalization, uh, sustainability, um, and encourage home ownership in the borough. So, Matt, Matt, tell me what your what your role is in this this whole community um, event organization. Okay, so uh, I'm a realtor with Glocker Realty, and I've been working with the borough and the school district to um, help educate homeowners, uh, help educate people who would like to become homeowners on their transition from renting into home ownership. I've also been working with you uh, a lot lately on. Um, trying to get some programs together so that we can start fixing some of these houses and helping people who are currently homeowners um, get some assistance with uh, critical home repair. Uh, work with Emanuel on, on trying to build an educational program through the school district to um, support parents in the, in the school district that would like to become homeowners. So I'm really excited about all the collaboration that's going on. It feels like there's a lot of momentum going on. And um, it's exciting. Uh, just the other night, I was at I was at the uh, at Sunnybrook uh, and listened to the governor of Pennsylvania talk about how we all need to come together uh, and work on uh, the issues facing Pottstown. And if we do that, uh, we're going to have a pretty strong force to turn things around. So I'm excited. Emmanuel, we know that you're also very active in our community. So talk to me a little bit about some of the stuff that you're doing. Well, like Mr. Green says, as a representative of the district, we believe in sustainability and revitalization of the Pottstown community. So we're working with initiatives with Mr. Green, with the Hill School, with the borough on initiative of home ownership and changing that 60-40 uh, quota we currently have in the district because at the end of the day it does affect the school district and so we want to partner with people like Mr. Green and like the borough and like the Hill School and other large stakeholders on trying to educate the community on the importance of home ownership and try to keep them here in this community and also investing in their community so uh, Mr. Green has been a big partner in that and we are excited to continue to work with him the borough and other organizations on initiatives like that so we can move this this community forward. So we're very excited about that. And I'm very proud to be a, uh, a working community uh, together with yes. these two gentlemen. Uh, they're, they're wonderful, and we've been, we've been working together for a couple years now. So uh, we're moving Pottstown forward, yes, and as Mr. Romano says, proud to be from Pottstown. Proud to be from Pottstown. Right. Yeah. Thanks, Cheryl. Thank, Thank you. you, Cheryl. Good to see you. Hey, good morning, everyone. I know we have a few sprinkles in the area, but I've been looking at the radar.
me again, the Billy's Meyer Company, and also a representative from Norristown Council Municipality. I had the Vice President of Norristown with me today, Mr. Derek Perry. So uh, thank you very much, and we're happy to, to get started. I think that today's theme is collaboration. And needless to say, we could not do this work. Oh, I'm losing it. Um, could not do this work without the help of a lot of people in the community. And one of our great collaborators is the Pottstown School District. So I would like to introduce John Armato to say a few words from the Pottstown School District as well. Good morning. Uh, this is another great opportunity for us all to partner together. And remember that the reason we're here is to help make our community a better place to live. And I want to thank all of the partners here today. We're here specifically right now with Rock the Block, but simultaneously going on today in the little 5.2 square miles of Pottstown are members of the Pottstown Cares team here, which includes the Pottstown School District, the Borough of Pottstown, our partners at the Hill School, Montgomery County Community College, all working together for the same reason. And Simultaneously today, there are about 60 Pottstown High School students out doing what we call Make a Difference Day, doing some of the same types of things that you're doing. At Riverfront Park today, the YWCA has their Race Against Racism, and at Memorial Park today, there's Bark for Life. So think about what's going on in Pottstown in our little 5.2 square miles, and it makes me want to say proud to be from Pottstown. And as long as we remember, if we have one goal, one team, one town, we will be proud to be from Pottstown. Thank you. Thank you so much, John. Um, I also want to give a special shout out to the Hill School, who has more than 140 volunteers out at various sites today, students, faculty, and staff. And so, um, Hill School students, give a big shout out to yourselves for being here. Thank you so much. this work alone and have so many partners in Pottstown. Um, but over the last two years, Habitat, our partners, and the neighborhood have been working together to improve the quality of life for all who, who live and who pass through here as well. Together we've been working to improve properties, rehab empty houses, create, create community networks, and strengthen us all. In fact, this year we, uh, we finished 430 uh, Walnut Street as one of our re homeowner rehabs, and we have we you know, helped a new family purchase a home right here in the borough, which is really exciting. Needless to say, this work cannot and should not be done in a vacuum. Collaboration and partnership has become the hallmark of our work, and I think it's really represented here that we have lots of folks from Norristown in the audience, as well as folks from Pottstown. And so I love the collaborative spirit and the exchanging of ideas that happens. You know, Derek and Cheryl are, are friends, which is really exciting, but it also helps exchange those, that exchange of ideas that happens between these two great communities as well. We know that this, for this community to be strengthened though, we need more than one perspective. We need perspective of students, or excuse me, of residents, community leaders, and community organizations. Each of us brings our own story and voice. Together we can make this community thrive. For those of you who live here, and I want to give a particular shout out to those folks. Thank you so much for coming out, and we're really excited that you're here. Um, for those of you who are volunteering who are not from here, I hope you'll come away from not only this event, but from the borough, understanding what a great place this is to live, and that it really does take a community to help all boats rise with the tide. Before we get started volunteering, though, I want to make sure that I thank the people who were involved in this effort. Of course, our volunteers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, obviously, the Borough of Pottstown, including Public Works and the Police and the Fire Department, you guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've given us supplies, you've given us support, um, a house. So we are grateful for all the work that you've done with us. Thank you. Um, the Pottstown Council and the Hill School, the Hill School students and faculty alike, um, and of course, our community partners. Um, Genesis Housing, who could not be here today because they are helping promote home ownership, not only in Pottstown, but throughout the county. Mosaic Community Land Trust, and I think some folks will be working on their gardens today. Philly's Fire Company, we've got a fire engine right over there. Uh, Pottstown Cares, of course. Pottstown Cluster of Religious Communities, we're really excited to have them on board. 
um, the fire department, Pottstown School District, and Victory Christian Life Center, who we could, would not be having lunch without them, so we're incredibly grateful. And finally, this event would not have been made possible without uh, generous support from Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo continues to be one of our principal supporters in all of the communities we work in, and their support has been a significant investment in the community, an investment in the people who live here, and we could not be more grateful for, for what they do for us. Um, I'd like to introduce a member of our board of directors who helps guide our vision for Habitat. Um, if you could say a few words about Habitat and the work that we're doing here in the community, Mr. John Ungerman. Good, good morning all, and thank you very much for being here. We're really thrilled that you're here on behalf of the board. Welcome. We appreciate your efforts in uh, the Pottstown community here. Uh, I am a community resident. I live in Upper Potts Grove. Uh, it's wonderful to be here, and I would like to specifically thank our lead sponsor for this event, Wells Fargo. Uh, Wells Fargo has partnered with Habitat in this community. They put a lot of uh, hours and over $22,000 of investment into the house at 431 Walnut Street, and we're very grateful for their, their help and their participation. So thank you, Wells Fargo. And at this point, I'd like to introduce Megan Briggs, our Director of Family Services. Hi, good morning. So it's actually amazing standing up here because as I look around, I see all these spaces from all walks of life. And it's just like a beautiful moment in time for everybody to come together and work on a singular project and get some work accomplished. And so I'm really excited to have you all out here. Uh, as John said, I am the Director of Family Services. I work with my partner in crime, Saroj, who's back there. Um, and we work together in partnership with community members from our neighborhood revitalization zone. And with, together, we try to drive positive change in this neighborhood. And our revitalization zone is six blocks, encompassing Chestnut, uh, Walnut, and Beach. Um, so your work here today, being with us, as either a community member representing, showing your community pride, or as an outside volunteer partnering with us to make this place more beautiful is incredible. So thank you so much. If you'd like to get involved, if you're a community resident and you'd like to get involved and come out to our community meetings where we organize, our next meeting is on May the 10th and we have a sign-up sheet over there. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Megan. Um, we have a little bit of a special treat before we get started. I know everybody's getting a little bit wet in the rain, but we I promise, one more minute. Um, Ajay, can you come up for a second? Um, Ajay is actually the uh, daughter of one of our homeowners in Norristown, and as part of her platform for um, some civic engagement that she does, she did a little speech, and I would like her to share that with us now. You ready? Home is where the heart is, but what if you don't have a home? Growing up, I lived in an area unfit for prospering, but in the middle of my life defined by poverty, Habitat for Humanity stepped in. I was given the home of my dreams. Now I am able to help others through Habitat for Humanity by volunteering, assisting with fundraising, speaking at events, and giving back to the organization that changed my life. My heart overflows with joy just because of this story. Now, I am able to help others one home at a time. Thank you.
the flowers in the vase that you bought today.